Good day to everyone. Welcome back to another Coffee Break program. Today we are going to discuss about chronic fatigue syndrome. Before I start the lecture, if you have not subscribed to my program yet, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, put a thumb and put a comment to encourage me to carry on this program. Usually I upload at least one medical lecture each week for your interest. Chronic fatigue syndrome. This is known as myalgic encephalomyelitis as well. The concept had been uh, initially found by uh, 1950s and uh, still developed the concept uh, up to now and still nobody knows the exact uh, etiology of this condition. Anyhow, ICD-11 has still categorized this as a physical illness and it's not a mental illness. Chronic fatigue, fatigue syndrome affects about 1 to 2 percent of the whole population of the world and uh, somehow the affected individuals may uh, housebound 25 percent of their lifetime or they will not be able to work or uh, actively carry on a functional uh, job about 75 percent of them and uh, the symptoms could be in a fluctuating manner Sometimes they may have good uh, periods and sometimes they may have worse periods. And it's a vague concept. The diagnosis is mostly done uh, with the uh, excluding of other possible conditions. The main symptom in chronic fatigue syndrome is unusual fatigueness. I think you can remember that we discussed about um, fibromyalgia the main features of fibromyalgia were tenderness over particular points of the body and allodynia. Fatigueness also was there as a part of uh, the symptoms, but they were not the main features. But in chronic fatigue syndrome, it is not the pain, but unusual fatigueness is the main feature. Let's discuss about the signs and symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome. Usually they present with unexplained fatigueness lasting more than six months in their life and uh, unrefreshed sleep. They are not refreshed after a good sleep and they don't feel that they had a sleep and they feel sleepy. Post-exertional malaise. After exercise up to about 48 hours or longer, they feel very, very tired and it is severe tiredness after the exercises. Orthostatic intolerance. Usually when they change their position, especially from sitting position or lying position to stand position, they feel dizziness and they may have a postural drop of their uh, blood pressure or they may present with palpitations or sweating and uh, unusual orthostatic intolerance. Brain fog. Their cognitive functions are impaired uh, without any explainable good reason. So if these things are present and if we can exclude all the other possible physiological causes, we have to think of myalgic encephalomyelitis. Apart from these five main features, they may have irritable bowel syndrome, they may be anxious, and they can have pot syndrome, the uh, increased heart rate when they change their position, paroxysmal uh, orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, that is called pot syndrome, and also uh, they may have anxiety and depression. Uh, these are key features of uh, myal myalgic encephalomyelitis. The contributory factors are suggested as follows, but nobody knows exactly how and why and uh, when does it occur. Usually, if there is a genetic factor, if there is a family history especially, they are more prone to chronic fatigue syndrome. And uh, Another theory has been suggested as to say that infections can contribute, for an example, uh, influenza like viruses and uh, gastroenteritis causing uh, viral infections. 
and uh, also uh, dysregulation of neurotransmitters or immune modulation, immunomodulation, especially immune cells like natural killer cells, CD5, CD19, uh, CD21, CD24 are suggested. And female sex are more vulnerable than males and uh, the age period of onset usually is in between 30 years to 60 years of age. Diagnosis of chronic fatigue syndrome is completely depending upon exclusion of other similar conditions and it's a clinical diagnosis. There's no particular blood test or there's no particular imaging technique to find out chronic fatigue syndrome. And uh, we have to remember that this condition is overlapped uh, with many other similar conditions like POT syndrome, paroxysmal orthostatic tachycardia syndrome and fibromyalgia. There's no particular treatment whatsoever found for chronic fatigue syndrome and cognitive behavioral therapy is suggested and uh, but there is no proven uh, evidence-based benefits provided by cognitive behavioral therapy. Previously graded exercises were used graded exercise therapy but in 1921 NICE guidelines uh, took it away uh, from the treatment modality of uh, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome and it is mainly based on the symptom management and patient education. Hope that you understood the concept uh, known as uh, myalgic encephalomyelitis. If you have not subscribed to my Coffee Break channel yet and if you think that this channel is important for you, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, put a comment, or put a thumb and be vigilant every week I will be posting a new medical lecture for your interest. Until then, goodbye.